My name is Brendan Barrett, the pre student body president of Menor High. And I'm Riley Lewis, the student body vice president of Menor High. And we are going to be your host for tonight. We would first like to welcome each of you to the fifth annual Mr. MHS pageant. And thank you all for coming today. All of the proceeds from Mr. MHS goes towards Menor High's Feed Lake County food drive in order to help the United Way of Lake County. Thank you for helping the community by either donating food, purchasing baked goods, or buying tickets for tonight's pageant. And don't forget to buy 50-50 raffle tickets during the intermissions. Thank you, Riley. And thank you for continuing to help us end hunger within our community, as Menor High is one of the largest contributors to food donations in Lake County by donating hundreds of pounds of food to the Lake County. Before we get started, we would like to extend our gratitude to our judges for this evening, Mr. Green, Mrs. Carroll, and Mrs. Petrusco, as well as Mr. Gatsky and Mr. Butler, all of which tonight would not be possible. Also, a big thanks to each and every one of our contestants. Tonight's pageant will be broken into four different rounds, the casual wear, formal wear, a talent round, and an interview portion. Following the formal wear and talent portion, there will be a brief intermission and cuts will be made by the judges with the crowning of Mr. MHS after the interview portion. Sounds like we have an exciting evening ahead of us. Who is ready to see Menor's finest senior guys walk the catwalk? <laughs> All right, so starting off our evening, we have Mr. Improv, Sam Webster. Sam Webster is representing Improv Club at this year's Mr. MHS pageant. Outside of co-leading Improv Club, Sam enjoys participating in many performance-related activities, such as sympathy, theater, and choir. Sam also sings in the Cleveland Orchestra Youth Chorus, as well as its respective chamber chorus. Thank you, Sam. Up next, we have Mr. NHS, Luke Risco. Luke Risco is this year's representative for National Honor Society. Luke has participated in cross country and baseball for the past four years. He has been a part of National Honor Society since his junior year, and this year was elected as treasurer. He is currently employed at Lake County Captains. Thank you, Luke. Next up, we have Mr. Choir, Keegan Obanoff. <laughs> Keegan participates in many choral ensembles as well as other music ensembles. In addition to singing with the Concert Mix Choir, Men's Chorus, and Chamber Choir, Keegan is a percussionist in the Wind Ensemble and Symphony Orchestra, plays for the Top 25 the piano, despite not actually playing the piano, and will probably play the snare drum for the Rogue's Hollow Regiment Drum and Bugle Corps this summer. Let's give a round of applause for Keegan. And now we have David Pfeiffer representing tennis. David Pfeiffer enjoys playing a wide variety of sports. In the fall, he plays on for Menor's soccer team, and he plays tennis for the school in the spring. In the wintertime, between these two sports, he enjoys snowboarding. In David's free time, he likes to play guitar and eat Wendy's. <laughs> Thank you, David. Next up, we have Mr. Marching Band, Matt DeToda. Matt DeToda has been a member of the Fighting Cardinal Marching Band for all four years of his high school experience. Matt has been playing saxophone for the past 10 years, and this past year he has been given the role and honor of being section leader for the tenor saxes. Let's hear it for Matt. And now we have Mr. Mannheim, Nathan Wolford. As you might be able to guess, Nathan loves music. Ever since he was nine, he has been on the pursuit to create music. When Nathan is not occupied with something to do with music, he loves playing video games, writing, and making others laugh.
let's hear it for Mr. Mannheim. If you could please help me welcome Mr. Cross Country to the stage, Ben Nagel. Ben Nagel is involved in a variety of activities. He has participated in cross country for the past four years and competed in a state meet in his sophomore year. He has competed in Science Olympiads for four years and attended the state competition every year. Ben is also a member of NHS. Thank you, Ben. Next, let's welcome Mr. CTE, Trevor C. Charles Clarkin. He is an inventor of CTE, graphic design, and video production. Trevor participates in NHS theater in the Fighting Cornwall Marching Band at Leonard High. In his free time, Trevor loves playing musical instruments, including guitar, guitar, and percussion, but accordion is his favorite. Thank you, Trevor. Next up, we have Mr. Tryon, Nick Smith. Nick Smith is the president of Triad. This year he will invent our high top 25, a member of the Symphony Orchestra, with ensemble, section leader of the Fighting Cardinal Marching Band Drumline, a member of the Smith of the Spring Musical, participating in the Lakeland Civic Band, as well as the Cleveland Youth Big Symphony. He is also a member of the National Honor Society of Prince School's Advisory. Let's give it up for Nick. Coming in is Mr. Science Olympiad with Leon and you for you to If you couldn't tell, Leon is a member of Hunter High Science Olympiad team and is also a member of the Fighting Cardinal Marching Band. In Leon's free time, Leon enjoys playing video games, especially Smash Brothers, playing piano, and yo yo -ing. Next up, we have Mr. Student Government, Nick Spock. This year's Mr. Student Government is Nicholas. He is currently the Treasurer of Student Government and is also a member of NHS. In his free time, he can stay hanging out with friends, working at his two jobs, and volunteering. Thank you, Nick. And now let's welcome Mr. Theater, Matthew Garcia. Matthew is super excited to be representing Menor High Theater tonight. Throughout his time within the program, he has participated in several production, productions, such as The Music Man, Side by Side, and The Most Happy Fella. Outside of theater, Matthew participated and Runner High School's Chamber Choir and loves all activities to do with singing. Thank you, Matt. Please help me welcome to the stage Mr. Top 25, Dan Drew. Dan has thoroughly enjoyed his four years at Runner High. Through these four years, he participated in many activities, including marching band, choir, theater, and obviously top 25, which have all contributed to the enjoyment he has had here at Menor. Thank you, Mr. Top 25. Next, let's bring out Mr. Swim Team, Eric Thompson. Next up, 
along with Mr. Soccer, David Gonia. David Gonia participates in soccer, science Olympiad, and NHS high school, and has been in the same pride of working hard in the academic David plans to study biochemistry in college, but does not know where he is going to be yet. Thank you, David. And lastly, let's bring in Mr. Model UN, Jack Renacki. <laughs> Jack is very active in his free time. He enjoys playing beach volleyball and also likes snowboarding in the winter time. As one can assume, Jack is also very involved in Model UN, where he is a co-president. When Jack is not doing these activities, you can find him working at Hyman. Thank you, Jack. Wow, Brendan, is it getting hot in here or is it just these contestants? It looks like our contestants are off to a great start. Who is excited to see more of what our senior gentlemen have to offer? Before we begin the formal wear though, we are going to watch a brief video about how we can continue to help those in our community through the United Way of Lake County. the best you have to someone in need, it translates into something much deeper to the receiver. It means they are worthy. Through the United Way, we have been able to give meals to thousands in our community. Help us continue their mission and improve the lives of those in Lake County by donating food during our Feed Lake County Food Drive. Thank you for helping us make a difference today by beginning our food collection. We appreciate all of your support as making a difference starts with us and our upcoming spring food drive. Are we ready? Let's see. Are they ready? Don't think they're ready. So if you could please help us welcome back to the stage Mr. Improv, Sam Webster. Outside of school, he enjoys collecting instruments, composing music, and spending time with his friends. After high school, Sam plans to attend a four-year university to study computer science, but he is not sure what school he will attend yet. He hopes everyone will enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, Sam. Give any 
advice to incoming freshmen, it would be to take chances because you shouldn't care what other people think of you and their view shouldn't influence your actions. Let's hear it for David. Please help me welcome back to the stage Mr. Marching Band, Matt Detona. Matt plans to attend Bowling Green State University after high school to major in education. Some of his hobbies include being a fanatic in DC Comics, attending live concerts with his dad, and spending time with his friends and family. Give it up for Matt. And now let's welcome back Mr. Mannheim, Nathan Wolford. <laughs> Next year, Nathan plans to go to college, although he's not sure where he wants to go yet, and study English and music and hopes to become an author. His bigger dream job is to possibly become a songwriter. Nathan just always wants to stay attached to music in his future. Let's hear it for Nathan. Now, introducing Mr. Cross Country, Ben Nagel. In Ben's free time, he enjoys playing video games and watching movies. Ben is excited for his future, and after high school, he's going to attend the University of Cincinnati to continue to pursue his passion and study computer science. Thank you, Mr. Cross Country. And next up is Mr. CTE, Trevor C. Next up, we have Mr. Tom. 
top 25, Dan Groove. Outside of school, Dan plays video games, fishing, and runs a top notch game game. He has really enjoyed his time at Metter and would like to thank his friends for laughing with him all the time and making great memories with him that will last a lifetime. Thank you, Dan. Now we have Mr. Swim Team, Eric Thompson. <laughs> Eric plans on attending Bowling Green State University next year and is going to study in education. Eric hopes that everyone enjoys the show and is looking forward to the challenge round. Thank you, Eric. Next up, we're going to have Mr. Soccer, David Gonia. In David's free time, he sits in his room alone and softly stops thinking about the inevitable key death of the universe and our irrelevant position within it. How we all will eventually die and forever be forgotten. His advice for people is, do it. And lastly, we have Mr. Model Wet, Jack Renacki. <laughs> Next year, Jack plans to attend college and study international relations. <laughs> if Jack could choose any quote to live by, it would be from Ferris Bueller. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, once in a while you can miss it. The competition is clearly getting intense. We are now going to start a brief intermission while the judges decide on who to cut. Make sure to check out the baked goods out front and buy 50-50 raffle tickets. We will see you guys in a couple minutes. Enjoy your intermission. Welcome back. So the judges have made their cuts and it is now time to begin the talent round. Let's see just how talented our senior guys are. So first up for talent, we're going to have Mr. Improv, Sam Webster. Let's see what he's got for us. Howdy, everybody. My name is Sheriff Sam. I got some spurs. Um, and if you treat me right, I can be your sheriff man. So now, we got the dimmed lights. This one's for all you cowboys and cowgirls in the back. This is Take Me Home Country Road. Sing along if you know the words. Almost heaven. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, going like the breeze. Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. country roads I hear her voice in the morning hour she calls me the radio reminds me of my home far away 
And driving down the road, I get the feeling that I should have been home yesterday, yesterday. Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. Country Roads. Thank you. Let's give another round of applause for Sam. Or not. And next up, we're going to have Mr. NHS, Luke Risco. Let's see what he's got. So, as a kid, I, uh, like most kids, played all kinds of different sports. I played basketball, I played football, soccer, I even ran cross country. But the one sport that always stuck with me was baseball. So at a young age, me and my dad would always go out and throw catch, or play catch out in the front yard. And then as I grew up, I wanted to see like, what I was able to do with baseballs. So as I grew up, I was able to hold two baseballs, and I thought this was a big deal at the time. And so I'm like, Dad, look what I can do. And he acted impressed because he saw how excited it made me. But he knew he could do it. And as I continued to grow, I was able to hold three and even four baseballs in my hand. And when I was able to do that, my dad showed me a player, Johnny Bench, from the Cincinnati Reds, that was also able to hold multiple baseballs in one hand. And he showed me that picture. And so he inspired me to see how many baseballs I could do. So after continuously working and working, I worked until, hold on. So I could hold six baseballs in one hand. That was impressive, wasn't it? Let's hear it one more time for Mr. NHS. So our next talent is going to be a joint talent. And it's going to be Mr. Choir and Mr. Swim Team, Keegan Obanoff and Eric Thompson. Let's see what they've got.
Wow, I wish I could play the guitar like that. Thank you, David. For our next talent, we're going to have Mr. Marching Band, Matt Detota. Let's see what he's got. Yeah. Oh, cool, this is on. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Love you. I'm on stage. It's cool, right? Cool. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is a saxophone. I'm going to play it. However, what I'm going to play is a section song, and it really wouldn't be right to play it without my section. So, without further ado, Hey, tenors! Yeah! Let's boogie! <laughs> Give another a round of applause for Matt. Next up, we're going to have Mr. Mannheim, Nathan Wofford. Let's see what talent he has to show. Um, so this is going to be a classic hit from the 90s because um, it's a very special um, part of music to me. So if you know the piece, sing along if you want to. Um, but without further ado, here I go. It's bigger than you, and you are not me. The links that I will go to, the distance in your eyes. Oh no, I've said too much. I've said enough. That's me in the corner. Thank you, Nathan. That was really impressive. Next up, we're going to have Mr. Cross Country, Ben Nagel, on the stage. Everybody. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, so I need some audience participation for this. All right. Thanks, I just want some clapping. Thanks. Thank you, ben. So next up, we're going to have another joint talent. We're going to have Mr. CTE, Mr. Tri-M, and Mr. Top 25, Trevor C. Trevatin, Nick Smith, and Dan Rue. Let's see what they have in store. Like 
How's everybody doing tonight? Thank you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All righty, well, uh, we are the Royal Polka Dots, so, uh... <laughs> Wish your girlfriend was hot like me. Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Don't ya? Don't ya? Don't you wish your girlfriend was raw like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a fun like me? Don't ya? Don't ya? Don't ya? Don't ya? Somebody told me you had a boyfriend who looked like a girl. We'll take you to the candy shop. We're one place, what we got. 
We'll have you spend it all you got. Keep going till you hit the spot. Whoa! When the pig's in the crib, ma. Drop it like a top. Drop it like a top. When the pigs try to get at you, pork it like a top. Pork it like it's hot. Call Mr. DJ Sampon to replay. We're like, yeah, on the dance floor, wanting some more what? Hey, Mr. Please, Mr. DJ, tell me if you hear me. Turn the music up. She take my money when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger way over town that digs on me. Now I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke, broke. Now I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke, broke. Get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead. But I ain't saying she's a go, go digger, go, go digger, go, go digger. Thank you guys. That really was something, now wasn't it? Next up, we're going to have Mr. Science Olympiad, Leon Anufrienko. Let's see what he has in store for us. Is this on? Oh, hello everyone. Hi. Coming out here, dressed like a funeral director to do some yo-yo tricks for you. Yes, your loved ones will be very, very taken care of. We'll make sure to honor them. Also, isn't this cool? Oh. No, but um, I, <laughs> I was stressing over this because I really wanted to have a, like a, a really good performance, and I kept going, man, this, this isn't too right. This isn't good enough. You know, I was super, super stressed. And then I realized, you guys don't care how many points I can score at a competition. You guys want to see cool stuff. So I'm going to show you some cool stuff. Labyrinth. Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I'm back crazy having you on my mind? Do you think I'm helpless? My algebra gon' equal you every time. Do you think I'm calling? Do you think I'm calling out your name every night?
No, I, now I think that deserves another round of applause. Now let's see just how talented our student government is with Nick Spots. For my act, I'm going to need a volunteer from the audience. There, sir. Face that direction. I'm going to be drawing this man. Now that's what we like to call identical. <laughs> Next we're gonna have Mr. Theater, Matt Garcia. Let's see what he has for us. out to get me that's the way it seemed disappointment haunted all my dreams but then I saw her face now I'm a believer not a trace of doubt in my mind I'm in love and I'm a believer and I couldn't leave her if I tried I thought love was more or less a given thing It seems the more I gave, the less I got, oh yeah, oh yeah What's the use in trying when all you get is pain When I wanted sunshine, I got rain 
But then I saw her face Now I'm a believer Not a trace Of doubt in my mind I'm in love And I'm a believer And I couldn't leave her if I tried Come on, y'all. Woo! All love was out to get me. That's the way it seemed. Disappointment haunted all my dreams. But then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love, and I'm a believer, and I couldn't leave her if I tried. But then I saw her face, now I'm a believer, no, not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love, and I'm a believer, I'm a believer. Thank you, Matt. That was impressive. Now let's see what Mr. Soccer's got. Let's welcome back to the stage, David Gonya. Uh, yes, I know I have new shoes on. Um, so uh, I lack a lot of skills, um, but one thing I'm good at is procrastinating, which is what I did today. So I really don't have that much to do, so I just said I'll do some soccer stuff, but uh, you can't just go in there. I mean, you'll pull a muscle or whatever. So I'm going to get ready first. So. <laughs> Why, you guys? I haven't started yet. I'm, I need to, like, stretch. So calm down. So, uh, how's your day going? How's your day? Uh, you know, it's, it's okay. It's, thank you. Um, so, I gotta get on the ground for this. I'm thirsty, I need to get some water, you know, I can't get dehydrated, so... <laughs> um, I don't think I can, the school might kick me off for that, so... I'm already pushing it. What's your middle name? Patrick, thanks for asking. Let me just check my phone, a couple texts. Um, don't have one. Oh, uh, couldn't tell you. Um, so, okay, I'm ready to start. Well, it looks like this performance is going to be like my soccer career. Um, my coach is telling me I'm going to be benched, so I won't be in for the rest of the season. See you guys. Thank you, David. 
Next up, we're gonna have Mr. Model UN, Jack Bernacki. Let's see what he has. What's the deal with airplane food? <laughs> all right, no, 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 all right. So, uh, as Mr. Model UN, I have two jobs. A, looking presidential. B, know, it's, know what's going on in the world, 193 countries. Uh, and the best part is, I'm sure half of you, actually more than half of you, probably don't know more than 10 or know where 10 are. So, uh, we're going to play a quick game. I actually know all the flags and where almost every single country is in the entire world. So, we're going to play a quick game. We're going to do one minute on the clock, and I'm going to name off as many country flags as I can in a minute. Morocco, Cuba, uh, Jordan, or Palestine, Finland, Central African Republic, Algeria. Australia, wildfires, Yargway, China, China, Ac Nicaragua, Qatar, as in guitar, Lithuania, Croatia, Turkey, Netherlands, the Dutch in their wooden shoes, UK, Afghanistan, Czech Republic, Nepal, goofy flag, France, Uganda, lovely bird. Egypt, Sri Lanka, fierce like a tiger. Israel, Kazakhstan, big. Jamaica, you're making me crazy. Vietnam, uh, Latvia, Ethiopia, uh, Italy, Malaysia, Venezuela, Norway, Jordan, or Jordan, uh, uh, Colombia. Uh, Poland, Germany, Sweden, Canada, New Zealand, uh, Luxembourg, Barbados, baby, Portugal, India. Do we got a minute here? What is what's going on here? Ireland, uh, Yemen, Japan, Haiti, uh, Spain, Taiwan. Syria, Albania, Denmark, Panama, Chile. I know I know <laughs> I know I would have only known about ten of those. How about you guys? So let's give another round of applause to all of our senior guys and all of their incredible talent. We are now going to have another brief intermission before our interview round. We will be back in about 10 minutes to announce our judges' cuts. Make sure to get 50-50 raffle tickets and check out the baked goods out front. All right, welcome back. So now is to find out who our final four are going to be and is who is going to advance to our next round. Moving forward to the next round is going to be... We have Mr. Tennis, David Pfeiffer. <laughs> Mr. Swim Team, Eric Thompson. <laughs> we have Mr. Theater, Matt Garcia. And lastly, we, we have Mr. Model UN, Jack Bernacki. All right. So now we are going to start the question round to find out a little bit more about our remaining contestants. So first up, we're going to have Mr. Tennis, David Pfeiffer. You think I could get like a, like a glass of water maybe? Sorry, I don't have that for you. But our first question for you, David, is what impact do you hope to leave on the world? Um, you know, I don't really plan on changing the world or my community. I don't really do much around the house either. <laughs> but 
you know, I just want to make a living for myself, you know, succeed. And uh, that doesn't really answer the question, but I forget the question, so moving on. <laughs> All right. So David, if you created a unique restaurant, what type of food would you serve? You know like those BuzzFeed videos where they go and eat insects, but it's like in lollipops and stuff like that? I do. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. That's, com that's so gross. Um, <laughs> probably just pancakes. You can't go wrong, you know? IHOP. They're the only one in the game, you know? Yeah, Waffle House, but like they're not... Mm. Pancakes. All right. What song lyrics would you say describe your life? Um... Hmm... Remember when that one guy said, uh, Ayo? That, just that, just Ayo. All right. And David, what are you most proud of having done or accomplished here at Menor High? At Menor High, um, well, coming out of middle school, I was like all C's in like regular classes, and then for some odd reason, they thought that they should throw me into like honors classes. I'm not doing too good, but hey. <laughs> I'm in the classes, right? So like whenever you're talking to someone, they're like, man, you're an AP class. I mean, yeah, I, I'm smart. Yeah, top of the class. Swear my class rank isn't above 200, but uh. Thank you, Dave. And that was our last question for you, so thank you. All right, thank you guys. Let's give another round of applause for Mr. Tennant. Next up, Let's bring Mr. Swim Team, Eric Thompson, to the stage. Thanks, babe. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the first question. What is the most important issue our generation is facing? Our generation? Our generation. The lack of social media. <laughs> there's, there's not enough use of it. There's not enough, like, it's, it's just not used enough. We need to use it more. When your parents tell you to put your phone down, tell them to pick their phone up. <laughs> I like that take, I do. All right, on to question two. If you could train any wild animal to be a house pet, what animal would you choose? Elephant. <laughs> you know that big trunk thing it has? I do. I'm a swimmer, so like, he can put water in it or whatever, and like spray it on himself and make it a water slide. <laughs> and he can pick me up and put me up there. I don't even have to wait in a line. Like, that's Kalahari 2.0 at that point. Would you build it a house? I will make a house for my elephant. Very nice. If you could have dinner with any person, alive or dead, who would you have it with? Ooh, that's a tough one. Mom, stand up. <laughs> I would have dinner with your husband, Patrick. Stand up, man. Yeah, you, right there. Out back, later. All right, cool. And for the final question, what are you most proud of having done or accomplished here at Menor High? Can I give two answers or like a half answer? That works. All right. I am most proud of being a part of the swim team for starters and second of all, basically ditching this building this year and having being here for three classes and that's it. Lakeland, the rest. Man, I'm sleeping in. You guys are up here at 7.20 in the morning. I'm not even out of the house until 7.30. 7.50. Hey, we don't talk about it, Mom. <laughs> Class starts at 8. It's fine. Mm. Yeah. So, All yeah, right. that's it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go give it up one more time for Mr. Swim Team. So next up, we're going to have Mr. Theater, Matt Garcia. I love you, Matt. Oh, I love you too. Oh. 
welcome Matt. Hi. So Matt, what is your greatest strength and how has it helped you be where you are today? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, wow, that's a great question. Um, I don't know, I think I'm generally like a positive person and I just, I don't know, I, I don't know. I don't know, I, yeah, yeah. If you could be any crayon, what color would you be and why? I would be red because I love the color red. Good answer. Thank you. If you could bring, if you could only bring three things to a deserted island, what would you bring? Oh. Um, wow, that's a loaded question. Okay, I would bring a bow and I would bring like a container full of arrows and then I'd bring a car. Right, get around on that island. And the same question goes for you. What are you most proud of having done or accomplished here at Menor High? Oh, um, I really liked participating in the theater program, like specifically like the technical side of it, because I feel like there's a lot of people who go into like performance or theater or something along the lines of that, and they're just like, oh, technical side. <laughs> and they just like never experience that, but it's actually really important and a lot, and I feel like it gets overlooked a lot. So I was really happy to be like a part of that. All right. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. We're all set. And now lastly, let's welcome Jack Bernacki back to the stage, Mr. Model UN. Nobody saw that. All right, let's start off the interview. First question, Jack, where do you see yourself in 10 years? That's a great question. Huh? Walking on a beach, love to walk on the beaches. Beaches are great. A nice paying job, six figures at least. <laughs> Requirement. Uh, a nice dog. Yeah, nice dog walking on the beach, six figures. Sounds pretty good. If you could get rid of one state, which would it be and why? Now, see, this is a dangerous question here. This is, this is dangerous. This could reveal a little bit too much. I don't know how the crowd is. Let's just go with Idaho. Idaho is pretty much worthless. We get potatoes from somewhere else. I, like, come on. Sounds reasonable. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, I'm going to result back to the, uh, what's the deal with airplane food? So I'll go with flying. Flying seems to be the move. You don't have to eat. Uh, I could take walks on the beach and still live here when flying. Uh, yeah, flying. And then the final question, same as the others. What would you be, hmm, what are you most proud of having done or accomplished here at Manor High? Most proud of? I mean, being here for four years is pretty long, so I, I, I'll contribute to that some success. Uh, even though our graduation rate's like pretty much like 99%, I'm proud that I'm graduating. <laughs> and that I'm going to college. Uh, but most proud is definitely uh, building up the Model UN team. Uh, we have a great conference, they're right over there. Uh, we've seen a lot of growth in my four years and uh, I hope it continues. Thank you. All right. So that is going to complete our question portion of this night's pageant. So now we're going to do our 50-50 raffle. So if I could please have Alyssa and Holly come up to the stage to announce the raffle winner. So everyone get out your tickets. Hi, I'm Alyssa. I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Holly. I'm also a senior. All right, so we've got the winner of the 50-50 raffle. Can we get a drum roll? And the winner is... What do I mean? Is that a... <laughs> All right, we have zero, one, seven, six, five, six, three. 
Any winners? Is everyone back here? All right, congrats. You won $45. Thank you guys. Congratulations again to our winners. Probably. I say yes. Are the judges still deliberating? I'm not exactly sure. We're going to take a minute and see the results and then we'll be right back. It is going to be a tough decision, so we'll let you know in just a second. So the judges have made their decision. Before we announce the winner, we would like to call out all of the contestants we had today back on the stage. So if you could please come out now. Are you aware? You guys can come out. And then the rest of you guys can come out too.
congratulations to all of you guys. So we would like to congratulate all of our contestants again and commend them for a job well done tonight. Thank you again to our judges whose job was not very easy tonight. And thank you all for coming and supporting this event at the Lake County Food Drive. Let's give all of our contest contestants one last round of applause. You guys did a great job tonight and thank you all for your hard work. And thank you guys for all coming this evening. Drive home safely and have a great rest of your night. Thank you.